Open the front trunk and remove the four fixing nuts of the front trunk storage trim using a number 10 socket tool. Removing the air conditioning filter protection panel and the air filter cover. Remove the front button trim and pull out the front button switch. Remove the front trunk storage box and take it out of the vehicle. Wrap the camera extension cable and threading tool with tape and pass the camera harness through the lower grille into the cabin. Through threading tool from the front trunk's strut button. Tear off the 3M adhesive post of the camera, clean the bumper and stick it on, or use the delivered screws to fix the camera. Insert the threading tool through the side of the rubber ring into the front passenger seat. Remove the front passenger door rub strip. Remove the clip on the passenger door trim panel. Remove the passenger rectangular turn panel. Remove the footwell light panel under the passenger seat and disconnect the plug. Pull out the wiring strap from the passenger side. Use a prying tool to pry open the left and right sides of the dashboard and take it out of the car. Plug our screen's AMD canvas plug with Original Vehicle's A-pillar power connection. Reconnect the power cable connector. Plug our screen AMD's 12V female plug with Original Vehicle's A-pillar 12V male plug. Use a wire threader to pass the power cord from the triangular area to the instrument as shown in the figure. Run the wire through the instrument position above the front steering wheel. Connect the power cord plug with our screen's power plug. The yellow plug is for front camera. Run the cable well and align the air outlet of our screen with the air outlet of the original car. Insert the instrument into the instrument panel. Test whether the product is working properly. If there is no problem, restore the original car dashboard trim and other parts.